is happening guys we are Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It and if you're brand new around here let us fill you in on what we're all about if you're brand new to our channel then it usually looks a bit like this I have no idea <laughs> <laughs> this is Amy aka Captain B Amy usually ends up on the floor along with her food love you yeah. This is Craig. He is a massive kid. Yeah. And usually ends up jumping off or in anything. He also likes to think he's a whiskey connoisseur. People know me. This is our bust. She's called Custard. She's a Mercedes Vario 814D, 4.2 litre turbo. She used to look like this. Until she had a massive glow up. And now she looks like this. We have been traveling our home country of Wales for the past five weeks with our friends Tanya and Adam and their van Jets. Being van neighbors has been brilliant. Cooking food, watching films in our vans and finding all the best things there is to do in Wales. Since we started kinging it, we have always lived by our motto, rule your own world. We try to go out there every week and have an epic adventure because life is just too short. This week, we push Amy way out of her comfort zone. <laughs> Craig does an impression of a dog in high winds. We celebrate Captain B's birthday. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and in a freak turn of events, we end up on the streets of Italy. I had no idea that somewhere like this existed in Wales. So click subscribe and join us as we show you some of the best things to do in North Wales. After heading west, we ended up in Harlech and found the perfect park up right underneath Harlech Castle. Known for its stunning long beach, Harlech is definitely worth a visit drive. Morning lads! So we're starting this week's video off with a run and of course a swim. Amy's still eating her breakfast in the background. Go on babes! <laughs> I was just toast babes. So you were running? So I was out back. So I sucked in some crumbs and then I started choking. <laughs> but it's nice though. Three little higgs on the belt for all of you. Yeah. Nearly there and the sun has come out for the first time in about three weeks. Yes! Tanya, how are you feeling this morning about your cold water swim? Well, I was just saying that even though I'm not looking forward to being in pain and not feeling my legs, I've kind of now, with a bit of practice, I've just resigned to the fact that I'm doing it. Yes. So I'm a bit less resistant and I know that it feels good afterwards. So, yeah, feeling good. The tide's gone out now, we missed it. Got <laughs> <laughs> the teeth on this fella. Why the long face, babes? I don't want to do this swim today. I'm in a really bad mood. So like two days ago, my Facebook was hacked and I just don't feel like I, I can see the light to getting it back, which is really annoying because I had lots of like friends that I met through cancer and loads of travel friends that I just wouldn't remember their last names, like add them back if I started a new account. So if you know a hacker that can hack a hacker, get me back into my Facebook, make yourselves known. Okay. I reckon you'll feel better after this swim though, babes. Okay, so you need to come for this swim, you need to get out of your head and I'm just like, I just can't be bothered. No, but we're here now, which is great. <laughs> I'm trying to get warm and use my core to sweat a bit, you know? Oh, here we go, that wind chill is brutal already. Oh! Go on, come on. We're getting closer lads, it's not too bad actually, it's not too bad. Yeah! Oh. Oh. When it hits your core, it's not fun. Oh. Okay, you ready? Come on! Three, two, one! Oh. 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 Yes! 
guys. This is what I'm talking about. Do you want to hack my Facebook account? Come and see me now. I'm down at Harlow Beach. Get him. Come. Come at me. Come at me. Welcome to Wales. Yeah. So as some of you may know, it's Amy's birthday tomorrow. Uh, Amy's sister Hannah has come up to visit us for a couple of nights and she's brought a special cake that my mate Ellie's made. Thank you Ellie, absolute legend. Did the cake survive then, huh? Here we go lads. Are your eyes closed? Look at you babe, you look cute. It's my birthday weekend, isn't it? It is, yeah. I know your birthday's tomorrow, but I have to give you this today. Keep your eyes closed. Open your eyes. Oh my god, I've never seen something so beautiful in my life. Oh my god, it's like a masterpiece. There's me slagging you off in Tesco's because I put myself... Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> We're going to have to make some friends, Craig. Oh, i got loads of oh, mates, haven't we? So. my name on it. Oh! Captain B Cupcakes. Look at those. Open. Oh, you just wait until you see this. Oh, take a look at that. Oh my god. And it's vegan, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh my goodness. It's my birthday! Cupcakes and tea for the boys. And the gals. So what's happening today then, babes? So today we're moving out of because of the bus for a little bit. Um, we've got a few friends coming up and we're going, um, we've, we've got a house that we're all going to sort of move into for two nights. I'm very excited. We've got lots of cake to share around. Um, we're just packing our bags now. Got your bathers? I think so. That's all I need, really. Also, wheels <laughs> and cupcakes. <laughs> Money! Bye, custard. So we've made it to the house and I'm going to pick a bedroom first. Craig, where are you? Did you get the best room? Oh. Look at this. Nice! Oh, the castle! <laughs> Amazing! Castle view, mate, look at that! Oh, that's wonderful! Little chaise long as well, babe, look at that! <laughs> oh, yes! We settled in for the night and the drinks were flowing. It was so nice to see some of the Mongol Valley boys again. If you haven't seen our Mongol Valley series, we highly suggest it. So click that little card up there on the right. We placed our bets on who would win the Eurovision and we had a couple of margaritas. Some of us were more hardcore than others. The next morning it was Amy's birthday and we sat around the table as she opened her presents. My present to her was a wig of her choice. I think she liked it. And of course, it wouldn't be a birthday celebration without a bit of adrenaline. You will never guess what we're doing today. I didn't realise you've got to wear a helmet, absolutely going to ruin my hair. It gets better. <laughs> today is this kid's birthday and we're at Bounce Below. So what this place is, it's an underground cave built in a slate cavern with a series of nets and slides you can bounce on. They give you a little map for the slides. It's so cool down here. It's a proper workout as well. It's so much fun. Only in Wales, mate. <laughs> this place is mad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look down here, lads. Crikey, Moses. We should have gone to like a spa or something. I'm 32, Craig. <laughs> What's your head, son? Can you tell me where to go? Because I can't see. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> boiling, Craig. <laughs> right, we're all bounced out. Let's get home. Get home for a bit of cake and a cup of tea. Morning! Hi. Today, we've got a full squad of people some cold water swimming. Who's excited? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> so we're at um, 
a waterfall called Radea. Something waterfalls. Don't think we're going to go in that one. Here he is, look. No, he's one. <laughs> my ear, is it Steve? Just go in my ear, shall we? Yeah. Like a jacuzzi in that bit. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Look at it. Shaking off. Right, we got to the top, we've checked out all the waterfalls and all the rivers and they're just running wild because it's been so much rain. But we did spot a lake as we were driving in, so we're going to head back to the lake and go for a swim there instead. Amy's going to sit this one out today. She had a bit, bit of a rough time on her birthday, um, full transparency, because we want to keep it real on the vlog, but she had a bit of an anxiety attack on the morning because she didn't get much sleep the night before. The dog was kind of barking and keeping her up. And um, yeah, sometimes it just comes over Amy in waves and the anxiety gets so bad that it sort of makes her feel really ill. Um, so she hasn't really eaten much the last day and a half. So she's going to sleep in the car. I've just run back to get my shorts now. Um, so yeah, hopefully she feels all right in a bit. So just a reminder that if you are out there and you're suffering with anxiety or depression, you're not alone. We've both experienced it and it can be awful. So uh, sending you all love if that's something that you're going through right now. The one thing that helps me uh, is cold water swimming. So this spot is a beauty. But yeah, just another sort of disclaimer as well. Like if you're going to do this, make sure you, wherever you're going is safe and you're with someone. You don't want to be going into shock on your own. Um, but yeah, this place is ideal. So we're going to get the guys involved now. Hopefully they come out feeling like new humans. Here we go. I'm built for tropical temperatures. <laughs> <laughs> nice, mate. Well done, Sam. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> right then, lads. If we didn't tell you already, Amy's sister Hannah's joining us for a few days. So we're three in a van again. Well, actually four, because we got this little terror with us as well. She might look cute, but she's the devil. 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 So whilst Amy sits down watching the internet, me and Hannah are going to go for a surf. How are you feeling now, babes? I feel all right now. I'm sort of recovering a lot because I've eaten something now. So yeah, it's been a it's been a tough few days on the old pod, physically and mentally, I suppose. But yeah, I'm feeling better now. I just need to have a good night's sleep and then I think back to normal tomorrow. You ready for a surf, kid? Let's do it. Should we, uh, should we get a surfboard down and blow the dust off it? It is actually really <laughs> dusty. Don't show people. Well, it's been so long, it's obviously going to be dusty, isn't it? What? Oh my yeah. God, look at the state of that. <laughs> it's all skin. It's all our skin, that is. Stop it. Dust form. What are you doing? Well, it's a bit of a walk, so I thought if I take the drone, we'll have a look, see if there's any waves. Oh, we're on, kid. It looks quite good. <laughs> Oh yes, it looks really fun actually. Just bumped into a little old couple and they were like, oh, I hate to break it to you, but there's no waves down there. And I was like, don't be a buzzkill. <laughs> we already got our wetsuits on love, so we're going in anyway. Excited for this, Han? Yeah, really excited actually. I've not been surfing in a while. And no one, I can't get anybody to go with me, so this is ideal. Yeah, well, no one ever comes with me either, so win-win. <laughs> Sun shining, it's a belter, it's so warm now. Yes, that's a rideable wave. We're on, kid. We're on. Good man, I haven't surfed for ages, literally at about seven months I haven't been in the water. The last time I was in was in Scotland. It's just so nice. Look how much of a good day it is as well. The sun's shining, 
The water is like perfect temperature. It's so good, man. I feel like a little kid when I go back surfing. and I'm like, what? <laughs> Do you want to come up with an excuse for when you cut in the terrible shots that you're falling off? Like yeah, I do put any wax on the board, so a little bit slippery, you know? Cool. So if you see any shots of you falling over, that's why, yeah? That's why, yeah. That's yeah, why, yeah, 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 yeah. They're rusty. Yeah. They're rusty. <laughs> afternoon lads so we stopped off for some lunch we're in Penryn and we stopped at this place called the eating gorilla cafe the staff was so nice there the food was incredible we had some cauliflower wings massive burgers juices the lot it's good lunch. Lunch. absolutely great it's so nice finding vegan only restaurants because then you can like oh my god I can have anything from the menu you don't just have the small like selection so yeah it's great and I love that veganism is spreading to tiny little random towns. Like there are vegan specific restaurants in a little random town in Wales. I know. It's great. In North Wales. Yeah. So yeah, we're all filled up now and we're gonna go to a place called Port Malian. So we've made it to Port Malian. But the dog wasn't allowed in. <laughs> oh, you're so horrible. <laughs> They said on the sign, no little shits allowed, so we had to leave Molly as a shade. Molly's in the car, we've left her with, under the shade with the windows open, she'll be fine. But yeah, what a day we've got for this, like, it's just going to make it that extra little bit beautiful. wonderful masterpiece of Italian goodness was actually built and designed by Clow William Ellis between the dates of 1925 and 1975. It is home to a lot of films, there's been loads of films set here and why the devil not like it's so magic and so different to anything that is in Wales you would actually think you were lost in the Italian city. <laughs> the Italian of city. Itali of Italy. <laughs> <laughs> These are the richest people of Wales enjoying a staycation in our home country. It looks like they're on holiday, doesn't it? You're jealous. I'm so jealous. We did ask if we could go for a swim because believe it or not that pool's heated. And they said no. They said you've got to be staying. And I'm not sure how much it is to stay but it would be an expensive swim. But we've done so much cold water swimming would be so nice to rest your bones in something warm, wouldn't it? Words. How nice a backdrop is that as well? So glorious. You could just be in the middle of Greece or Italy. The buildings are super colourful. There's little cobblestone streets. There's fountains. What do you reckon, mate? This is actually Italy. He's completely lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is amazing. I had no idea that somewhere like this existed in Wales. Morning, Morning. lads. Today, we are getting treated by Zip Worlds to a bunch of awesome activities, starting with the Forest Coaster. <laughs> but it's, scary. it's a really scary day, okay? Let's just take a look around. We've got an absolute lush day today. The sun is shining, there's blue skies, there's zero wind. It's such a nice setting as well. You're just yeah. in the middle of a forest. It smells so nice. Massive trees. Yeah, huge trees everywhere. Can't wait for this, it's gonna be wicked. We get three goes as well, three get goes. in. Now don't, now don't go too fast now, honestly. Full speed ahead. I've got a wig on and it will fly off. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, look oh, at wow. So steep. Yeah. Oh, relax, Cray. Oh, I thought this would be like a child's ride. It's actually really scary. Yeah! Oh, ah, Cray! Cray, Cray! Look, I'm literally breaking. <gasps> oh, I can't. You yeah, can't break, look. <laughs> You're such a knob. I hate you. I hate you so much. I'm not going again. I don't feel well. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, it's gone, it's gone. That was actually terrifying. <laughs> Just, there's no point even trying to speak Maybe to me, Craig, because we're not going to speak today. <laughs> Yeah, I see everybody coming down, they are flying, and I'm like, look how fast he's going, we'll, we'll let you go in. 
<laughs> oh, so scary though. Like, honestly, my hands are shaking, so I'm just gonna take a little time out on this one. I'll take a few photos. So, he managed to convince me to go on again. I said yes, but only if I was driving. We're gonna go as slow as I wanna go. Yeah, you do you, eh? Yes, you do right. You. And I'll have no back chat. <laughs> A granny banister's in charge this time. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have a little nap for 20 minutes. Stop Let it. Let me know when we get to the bottom. Don't be horrible all the time. <laughs> Maybe shat me pants on that last one. <laughs> Craig's like, are you heavy breathing in my ear already? We're already sat in the queue. I'm like, oh God. This forest coaster is no joke, lads. But it is bloody wicked. Nice and easy, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my it God. This is... We're gonna fall off. Can I get a refund, please? <laughs> No, oh, there's nice. You've got the wind in your hair <laughs> and everything's calm. Beautiful. Absolutely pointless. Come on, give us some juice, Banny. Come on. Oh, come on. Go on. <laughs> go on, you're in control. If you go on. All right, on the flat. <laughs> They're gonna crash. Come on, they're gonna, you're gonna have to speed up because you're gonna hit someone's oh, nippers. Don't, don't, don't pressure me, Craig. They're literally right behind us, look. It's Craig. Oh, it's a big bend. I'm breaking. <laughs> nearly fell asleep, mate. It still was quite fast. <laughs> we nearly got smashed into it as well because you're going so slow. Slow driving custard, isn't it? There's a queue behind you. All right, lads, after that crazy little roller coaster, we're now going to go and do the fastest zip line in the UK. I mean, that shocked the pants off me. <laughs> so I'm not sure how, how I'm going to feel about doing the fastest zip. It goes 100 miles an hour, Craig. Just let that sink in. And I've got Jammy Dodgers, I need some sugar. Just give me a minute. Have a seat, babes. Give me a minute. Put your seatbelt on, let's get there. All right. How are you, how are you guys doing? You, you like set on doing the, the zip line? I am excited. I am pumped to do it. I love a bit of adrenaline. Adam was a bit like. I'm nervous, but I'm going to do it. You're going to do it, Ad? Because if you do it, I feel like that means I've got to do it, and I don't know. Come yeah. on, we can do it. We can do it. Take one for the team. Okay. Thanks for driving us, pal. You ready for this, babes? No. I want everyone to make, on the count of three, make a noise for how you feel about this velocity zip ride. One, two, three. <laughs> Before we hit the big dog, we got to practice on a smaller zip line to get the feel for it. The views were incredible over the quarry and just look at that blue water. How are you feeling everybody? The thing is, right, <coughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get travel sick on the car going up. Never mind doing it. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Okay, so um, I decided on the way up that I'm not gonna do it, and it's fine. Like I'm not, I'm not first. I just, it's just, it's way too much for me because this one's like a lie down. Your hands are strapped in. I, I just feel a bit, I think okay, claustrophobic. Okay, um, but yeah. It's all right, babes. You did the little one. You had fun on that. Didn't yeah, you? it was fine. The view's amazing. So, um, but yeah, I feel like I'm not. I am the only one that's not doing it. <laughs> But um, I want to know if you're on Team Amy, hell no, or Team Craig, hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. Leave mate. your comments in the description. Pick me, pick me so I don't feel bad. See you at the bottom. <laughs> See you at the bottom. <laughs> Thanks very much. So guys, we how was it. that? It was so good. It was so good. And uh, I just came out and there was like drivel all over <laughs> my like, face. Oh, chin's a bit wet. I was like, <laughs> but it was so good. The views are amazing. And yeah, we'll do Epic. it again. Epic, we'll would do it again. Yeah. Can I do enjoy it, guys. It's so good, isn't it? Absolutely fine. It was just fun. It was just fun. I didn't get, like they say, you don't get the butterflies in your stomach. It's not like a roller coaster at all. Yeah. You can't really tell how quick you're going. It's just the wind in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> How was it then, babes? I missed you. It was class. So good. 
I've done it before, but it's just the rush is still always like so good. And my, like I was going so fast at one point, I opened my mouth, my cheeks were was blowing it? out. <laughs> I just like, uh, <laughs> like a dog with his head out the window. So we've got a little bit of jelly for now. Tanya's making some tofu wraps. So we just rang our little room service bell. And, oh, look at this! It's out and from just Special across delivery. the room. I can't take the credit because Tanya made them, but I'll having? take the credit. That, uh, I don't know. Tanya's so healthy. It's She's... tofu. That has got bacon in it. Oh, bacon! Yeah. Oh, I can smell it. It smells wonderful. Thank you so much. No worries. Bell of reality. <laughs> the lights on and show this disaster of a bus but uh this is it let me just show you that's the only one that's left i've left it the rest is gone we've done that over the last couple of days can uh, you remember what it looked like i've had zero pieces so i'm gonna go for a shower if you can just uh give it a quick whip around yeah can have a look at that down there a sec what control <laughs> Uh, okay. Just take a second to look at this park up though. I know. Uh, we are on the side of a road, but it is stunning. Stunning road, Craig. Pop them in while you're at it. Another unique reason you need to visit Wales. Today, we're going to zip line in a cave. Whoa! I brought a beanie so I don't actually have to look like I work in a baked bean factory. Excuse me, you got any vegan croissants? <laughs> Seven. Seven. <laughs> We're back again, this time because I'm zip lining. Now you remember your training, you're about to go into extreme danger. I remember my training. Be ready for the extreme danger. I'm ready. Danger. But I was just talking to Tanya about like what we did as, as kids, like and our school trips were to like the mines and we got taken down in the lift where the men used to work and I guess a lot of Welsh the Welsh history is about like mining and underground and stuff. So it, it's just so cool that they've made this into like a an adventure park really. This zip line that we're gonna do today is the longest in Europe. Yes. Underground. Yeah, make sure you're good. It's very high, I'm not sure if I've been shown you already, but yeah, excited! Here we go, Whoa. <laughs> Here we go, this is the first section. No. Um, <laughs> gotta walk on the chain. Sorry, what? <laughs> No worries, Indiana Jones, eat your heart out. Indiana Bannister. Indiana <laughs> <Cindy> Bannister. <laughs> yeah! Hey Lord, don't look down. Going <laughs> yes. down. Ooh, breath Down here, look at this. Um, I want to go home. Can uh, can that be arranged? <laughs> there you go. Going for a big one, big dog. It looks like I'm gonna not gonna reach the side, but. You okay, you're gonna be absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. <sighs> So lads, that is it for this week's video. Hope you've enjoyed watching. We've had a great time, haven't we, babe? I feel like we crammed like a whole year's worth of stuff into a week. We really do. But it's been so good. It's been such a good week with all of our friends yeah. doing all the activities. And today the sun has just come out. So we're hoping for an action-packed week of a Welsh summer. It's bo literally boiling today, Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, my mum was like, make sure you put your sun cream on. I was like, I don't even know if we've got any. <laughs> but next week, I don't mean to do a little spoiler alert. I don't mean to do a little spoiler alert or nothing. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah. 
are just fun. fun. Nice to meet you, Robbie. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, no spoilers or nothing, but next week we're hoping to climb Snowdon. I didn't <laughs> want to climb, uh, but the train's fully booked. <laughs> so uh, that that's going to be fun. So we'll look out for that vlog. Should be a good one. So don't forget as well, every Wednesday, a brand new podcast. Thanks to everyone who's been listening. Yep. There's a competition. You can win some merch. There is. So listen to the podcast to find out. Other than that, lads, we will see you next Sunday. What have we got from, babes? Give them some inspo. Go on. Make your life as best as it can be. Do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it and make yourself happy. That's only you can do that, okay? So you take the steps and you make that happen for yourself, okay? Always remember to rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! bye.